Hello, and welcome to this year's 2017. Can you imagine? We've been doing this together for a long time, I'm sure. Uh, 2017, welcome video for signing and interpreting for the deaf. I want to cover a couple of things in this little video. I want to introduce the songs. I want to tell you a little bit about judging. I want to tell you a little bit about handedness uh, and to encourage and tell you how to use the videos. All right, so um, the songs. The three songs that I've chosen this year are fairly simple songs to sign. Okay, and I did this, I, I, I always do things a little bit different every year. This time I chose three songs that were fairly simple because I really want you to spend the time to learn the signs but I also want you to have the time to be able to learn to connect with the songs. So that when you're singing, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longed after you, you're not doing it like you're a dead man. That you're not just giving me the sign, that you're actually engaging your face and your hands and your body. And when you say, my soul longs for you, I can see it in your face and in your hands. So this year, the songs are simple, and I'm going to be asking our judges to be extra diligent in looking at and commenting on and judging uh, the quality of how the songs are being felt and how the emotions are being uh, distributed in the songs. So the first song, uh, not in any order really, but the first song is As the Deer. Uh, as the deer pants for the water. Well, all of these songs are in the songbook. Uh, the other one I have is I Come to the Garden Alone, a nice quiet song that kind of moves melodically. It's very pretty. It's very relaxing. It's very introspective. It talks about your relationship with Jesus. And the other song I have is I'll Fly Away, a fun song to sing. Uh, you actually get to get your wings out and fly. And I don't want to see any hummingbirds. Or I want to see eagles. That's what uh, uh, that's what we're told we're going to do. We're going to fly like eagles. Not like hummingbirds. <laughs> anyway, those are the three songs. Now, something about judging. Judging is uh, always something that a little difficult. And I have excellent judges. I have always had excellent judges. And what they do for me is I ask them to be subjective. I ask them to not be objective. Now, you may not like that, but I'm asking them, did you like? As opposed to having some kind of mechanical rubric for assigning something. I have three judges, and if one's a little easy and one a little hard, well, they'll balance each other out, okay? And I try to uh, make sure that I have a balance that way. They don't watch these videos that I know of. Uh, they're not going to use these videos as a golden standard. They are going to bring what they know to the judging chairs, whatever, platform, whatever, and that's what they're going to use to judge with. So these videos, they're here to help you. They are not here to set a standard. My signs are different than the way somebody else might sign. So if you are learning from me and somebody else, and somebody else says, you know, I really think you ought to sign it this way. That is perfectly fine. Uh, if you don't, you're not going to watch me at all. You're going to learn completely from somebody else, or you already know signs and want to do it your own way. That's fine. Uh, we're going to be looking for, you know, the clarity of your signs. We'll be looking for, you know, how you dress, your clarity of your signs, and how you deliver. Okay. So if you're ASL, pure ASL, that's fine. If you're pigeon, which is kind of what I do on these videos, pigeon is kind of a midway between 
uh, ASL and C signs. C signs are the signs exact English. And my signs I do on this video are pretty English. <clears throat> the deaf call it pigeon. Um, and the reason I do that is because there's no way I can teach ASL on a single video. All right. And anyway, that's why I do that. And uh, so anyway, judging, that's, that's the way it's done. Uh, just do the song really well and you know how you roll with it. All right. Whatever way you learn to sign. Handedness. Uh, every year we have right-handers doing the song. That's not surprising. It's not surprising also that we have left-handers doing the song. I have in my group a right-hander who signs left-handed. Uh, I couldn't stop her. So, anyway, she signs perfectly left-handed. It is okay. The thing with signing left-handed or right-handed is to make sure that you stick with whichever hand you're going to make dominant. Because in signs, the dominant hand does all the work and the subdominant hand, or the subordinate hand, uh, just sets the stage. So you would never see something like, hello, my name is Paul Lemon. You know, that, that bouncing back and forth, the mind has to switch constantly. So you don't want to have to do that. If you're going to be left handed, say, hello, my name is Paul Lemons. All right, that's, that's signing left handed. I did all of that with my left hand. So just make sure if you're going to be doing left handed or if you're training somebody to be left, that's left handed and they're going to be signing left handed, that they make sure that that left hand stays dominant. Left handed people live in a right handed world and they become ambidextrous. They will reach for something with the right hand just as easily as they will their left. In their mind, the two hands, one is dominant, but the right hand is less subordinate in their minds than the left hand is for right-handed people. So as a result, they want to use both hands. I have had my left-handers take their right hand, find a belt loop, put it behind their back and sign everything one-handed several times to get used to using that hand. So, anyway, I don't know whether I've said that in previous uh, welcome videos or not, but I wanted to make sure I had got that out there. So, LTC, I'm ready for it. I'm hoping that you're